Oh, hey, Internet. Welcome back to Type QQ. Welcome back to Kaiken. And uh, what the hell are we gonna, well, what the hell are we going to do now? We checked out homing last time to some success, I suppose. Uh, I think this time, time we're going wide. We're going deep and we're going wide. Just like God intended. However, you know, when you start out with some of these uh, ships, you know, it doesn't seem like it's all that wide until you get some of those power-ups. So, um, yes, real quick to just kind of recap some things that we've touched up upon before. For those who don't really know the game, um, this game kind of balances like a full-on onslaught with um, a sort of defensive pick-up-the-metal type of thing. I guess, I guess in, 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 in not so many other words, um, the whole premise is to fill those gauges that are on the right and left parts of the screen by picking up metals. You can pick up the metals by running into them, but it's much easier to stop firing and allow the metals to kind of be sort of vacuumed and sucked into you. So, it's a, it's a weird dynamic where you're, on one hand, trying to um, kill everything to produce metals, and the next um, to stop firing and allow the metals to come into you. So that's kind of the sort of the yin and yang and the balance of it all. And of course, if you get hit or you allow a metal to kind of fall out of the screen like Eskatos, um, your, your combo breaks. Uh, the purple meter below is your bomb meter. It also can be used as an uh, auto bomb that kind of saves your first hit if, um, if you have it full and you take a hit, which I think is what we're going to do. Unless we're teasing like an extend, um, and that's something that we particularly need to like one cc the game because the game is rather short uh, and i think maybe we could do it i don't know we will certainly see i i i feel like we're being teased enough where we can kind of get close but we'll see um yes but until until we feel like we're uh close to an extend and we need that extend we might be going the survival route particularly and not worrying about using our bombs uh and in like high point uh, scenarios. We might just be using them just for that extra hit, just so we can last a little bit longer in the levels, that sort of thing. But other than that, you know, um, just other than the sort of the, the, the raw details of it, you know, this is a great game. I'm really enjoying it. Um, the orange, pieces of course are the metals and the, uh, the bouncing blue square is our power-ups and by the time we've reached this first level boss we are in fact quite the wide shot um, and of course we have our regular shot and we also have a bomb we also have a focus fire and that's the focus fire you're seeing there it reveals our uh, hitbox there that's kind of flashing but it also concentrates our, our wide shot quite a bit down and you see we're just absolutely tearing um, the living shit out of that boss um, did not make advantage of of getting all those sort of uh, bonus points that kind of uh, occur when his sort of death animation happens when he has bullets in the air. Um, you know, I think I think for for our second second run, you know, we're not necessarily um, aiming to milk things immediately, as in like you know wait for the best time to kill the boss just to take all those bonus points. I think you know it's one of those. You know, I think I'm certainly. At my level of, of, of gamerness, to just be thankful I'm not like blown out of the sky first. And then we'll worry about um, becoming the, you know, the, the best Pokemon master in the world, you know. After that, ex pretty much exactly what I was just saying, right? We, we have to start more basic, I believe. Keep our priorities straight. However, I really think that damage could have been awfully prevented. I really do enjoy that, you know, um, the bullets in this game are plentiful, but also rather slow. So it doesn't feel like it's uh, an absolute mess to try to dodge bullets. You know, it, it, it pretty much, you know, it the challenge more or less becomes when do you release the fire button um, so you can pick up your points. And you certainly see me being a bit more um, proactive about picking up the, the, uh, the metals, which certainly can save some time um, while firing as well. So if you can kind of like do this and pick up the metals, um, that certainly saves you from having to release your fire button sometimes. 
but it does look like we, lost, we missed the combo up um, just a bit ago. However, it's back on the rise. It's one of those things I think it's kind of um, easily easily earned, easily lost, that sort of that sort of thing. Up to C, and here's the boss. You'd almost um, you'd almost suspect this is a caravan with this uh, quick as um, the levels are and uh, all the uh, breakable objects on the ground. But, but really, no no sort of timed element of the uh, of the uh, game whatsoever. I got hit there, so we lost our auto bomb. But I'm kind of happy. That's kind of what the uh, object of the uh, auto bomb is right now. Really tore up both those guns in quick fashion. And now he's down to, well, I would say half health. But you can see that health bar just melt away if we get that concentrated fire on him. There we go. Able to get some decent um, bonus points out of him. A little upsetting is that we're not going to get the uh, the no miss um, bonus for completing the level without dying. Um, getting hit and using our auto bomb um, sadly counts as being hit. So, um, so something to something to learn from and to take on to uh, future future runs. And a uh, good practice to have is to keep um, your, your metals coming in um, productively, because that's directly linked to your bomb gauge. So the, the more metals you're picking up, the you better your uh, gauges. The quicker that uh, that purple bar is going to um, provide you an extra free shot if you're going that route, if you're going to survivability. Can, coming up here, this is actually crossing this sort of river is a tricky area. There's a particular bullet pattern that I have yet to really, like, foresee, it's this one here. Unfortunately, you, you kind of want to get really high on it, apparently, and uh, used our bomb to kind of just save our ass. Got a lot of nice bonus points out of it as well, just because there's so much on the screen, but I would have probably at this point enjoyed um, just deflect, just dodging it. However, there we are picking up our auto bomb yet again, so maybe... Maybe we're we're learning something here, and and thinking maybe using bombs more frequently isn't a bad idea. But as I say it, right? As I say it, we take a hit and lose our auto bomb. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the strategy is. You know, at at, at this moment, it's just uh, hashtag doing our best. But um, yeah, kind of. It's it's still rather early, I suppose, in the experiment to figure out what exactly is our hypothesis and. And they uh, are uh, um, um, and what our objective is, what you know, how we're going to go about it. Uh, scary pattern this is. Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, we really should have a auto bomb ready for that attack right there, just because of how absolutely um, just mind 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 shattering it is for me. Pretty easy patterns if you're aligned uh, in the center just right. And there he is, another boss biting it. Sadly, not milked whatsoever. No bullets on the screen. Um, but, you know, it probably would behoove me to figure out where our extends lie, just so we're not missing those extra lives. Certainly important. Hopefully I don't forget. So if someone would like to do that in the comments and leave, but uh, here are your uh, scores for extends, that'd be amazing. Just so I could have it also kind of on hand as well. But so far, the the, uh, the wide shot's turning out to be pretty awesome. You can tell right here by both, both options of fire is rather powerful from just killing all the popcorn enemies that really show up to 
just absolutely um, putting down um, the larger enemies with the uh, con uh, concentrated focus fire. Yeah, like those sort of flying battleships there and just ripping them down. And even worse, we can focus fire it on. Pretty touchy there for a second. You know, it seemed easy enough to go through the center of that pattern with those uh, turrets there were just kind of waiting for you to, be, to do that exact same thing. So the last second kind of just dodged out of the way and luckily uh, wasn't punished for it. However, punishment has arrived. But I think we've got, I think that's the furthest we've been. I'm not sure. I don't, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't recall. But certainly not satisfied with this. Oh yes, that's the furthest. But we can see at that fourth column there, we are level three instead of two. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, do all that stuff. We'll come back and play some more Kaikan in the future.